Another hot topic today is our hot weather. And while it is hot out today, you're still able to get out and enjoy areas like Port Washington. Let's have a quick look at downtown instead. That's same port. Port's same, building up nicely as well. Same lake. <laughs> Over to Brian Goddard now with the Storm Team forecast. I'll you know. show you port here in a second. How's that? Why don't you show me port? All okay. right. Thanks. Those clouds are developing. We're seeing a few isolated downpours. Not quite yet. Just a few showers right over the Horicon Marsh, I should say, and out towards Green Lake. I'm looking at radar here. Other than that, uh, things are pretty quiet so far. Yesterday, there was about a half dozen of these pop-up showers around the region, and one developed right over Oconomowoc and just sat there. And this is tropical moisture, and tropical downpours have a... A lot of water, and if you live in Oconomowoc, you know what I'm talking about. Almost four inches of rain fell yesterday afternoon in a very short period of time. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit more activity developing up toward the Crivets area, just north of Green Bay and into the UP, and we will see some more of those heat and humidity-driven uh, downpours throughout the afternoon. So the graphics will go. Another hot and sticky one tomorrow. Strong storms to the north along that front that's just kind of lingering there. High pressure is right over us, and so... The storms can't go anywhere. We're also getting more of that haze in the atmosphere. The air quality is starting to decrease just a little bit as well. Uh, the good news is we live in the north, so these little heat waves, or whatever you want to call it, uh, are short-lived. By Friday evening, the cold front will push through. A good chance of strong thunderstorms, possibly even severe, uh, severe by Friday afternoon and Friday evening, and then cooler, drier for the weekend. Here's your lows this morning, right around 70 degrees, 75 in Milwaukee. Uh, it was a week ago Thursday where we woke up with some spots in the 40s. How quickly things change. There's Port Washington. Hazy conditions out there. 86 degrees. The wind is calm. Uh, almost 90 now in Milwaukee. 87 in Watertown. And 86 very common across southeastern Wisconsin. Dew points in the low to mid 70s. It's steamy outside, but once again, it's July. It's, it gets like this occasionally, uh, and it'll stay this way through Friday. And then the dry air and the cool air moves in for Saturday and Sunday. Lows tonight back into the low to mid 70s. Not a good night of sleeping if you don't have air conditioning. Uh, then for tomorrow, hazy conditions and highs right back up to around 90 degrees with that hazy sunshine and a light southwesterly wind. Here's the forecast today, 91. Just a very slight chance of an isolated downpour across the region. Most of us won't see a drop. 74 tonight. Warm and humid. Your 70 forecast. 90 on Wednesday, 91 on Thursday. Some scattered storms late in the day Thursday. Thunderstorms likely on Friday. And the weekend looks ideal. That's an 87 Sunday night. That's wrong. <laughs> We're back after this.